the 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 nature of consciousness in the universe is a phenomenon we must deal with to understand whether or not there is a God. This is something that I've wrestled with my whole life. Coming from the Eastern traditions and understanding consciousness, as well as being a quantum physicist, do you see consciousness as a vehicle to understand the potential of a God or supernatural existence? Well, the notion of God is, uh, in a way, very uh, what I would call Middle Eastern or the Ab Abrahamic tradition. In the Hindu worldview, at least in one part of the Hindu, as you well know, it's a very vast and complexly uh, rich cultural tradition, Hinduism. But in uh, mainstream Hinduism, there is the view that the universe essentially undergirding the universe is a cosmic awareness. The cosmos itself, from the very first shriek of the Big Bang, or even long before that, there has been an awareness which one calls a cosmic consciousness, if you will. And the, in that sense, from a traditional Hindu perspective, one Hindu perspective, there is consciousness in every atom and electron in the universe. But there is also, like the biological evolution, an evolution of consciousness in various centers and entities. And from that perspective, the human consciousness is one of the highly evolved centers of consciousness with potential for further, even greater evolution. And it is believed that the, what may be called the, what's called the spiritual enlightenment is precisely one in which one recognizes that the individual consciousness is part of that supreme undergirding conscious principle, which is that in the universe. Can we infer from that that the fact that we have consciousness is at least a partial, uh, if not proof, an inference that there is such a cosmic consciousness or a greater consciousness? Absolutely. If one may use an analogy, the, if you have a very grand painting, then in the corner of it you see a little signature by the artist. So one may say, that our individual consciousness is actually a little bit of a reminder hmm. of who did this grand painting. So in the metaphor of Hinduism, our consciousness is simply a reflection, therefore, of that cosmic consciousness. And part of the spiritual exercise consists precisely in becoming aware of that. And this cosmic consciousness, uh, how do you compare that to the Middle Eastern Abrahamic God? The comparison, if one may say so, is, or the contrast, rather, is that from the Abrahamic tradition's point of view, there is a God who created uh, the physical world as well as, finally, uh, the human being and in the image of God. Now, the parallel here is that that image is there in the Hindu tradition also, except this is not a creation of something extra, but a manifestation of that supreme principle. In other words, the human consciousness is uh, uh, one of the expressions of the cosmic consciousness. Of the cosmic consciousness rather than it was created separately. Now, it sounds like, then, in the Hindu tradition, consciousness is even more important in reflecting the ultimate reality than it is in the Western traditions. Yes, absolutely. In the Hindu spiritual tradition, yes. that is what uh, all spiritual exercises are supposed to be. They are efforts not only to link with the cosmic consciousness, which is what prayer in any, any tradition should be, but equally the realization of the identity between uh -huh. the individual and the ultimate consciousness, of the cosmic consciousness. Now, this cosmic consciousness, 
Does it have a, uh, an individual awareness? That cosmic consciousness, which is called Brahman in the Hindu tradition, is exactly one which is aware of everything. There is no past or present or future for that. It is, uh, it's what we would call omniscience in the uh, Western terminology. And it is uh, beyond any of the categories that we have of uh, high and low, good and bad, relative things. It is uh, what is called a quality-less wholeness. And uh, in, it's called nirguna brahman. That means something which has no attributes at all. It is just the ultimate void, as it were, and that consciousness pure. Vivi, does that mean that consciousness plays a much stronger role in the Hindu tradition than it does in the Western religious tradition in terms of explaining reality? Well, uh, without being comparative about it, I would say that in the Hindu tradition, the recognition of consciousness, individual consciousness, as being part of the cosmic consciousness is the essence of the spiritual quest. In, the, uh, uh, in all traditions, prayer is an effort of the individual consciousness to link with the cosmic consciousness. We may look at it that way. But in the Hindu tradition, it is individual consciousness is somewhat, crude knowledge here, is like a cloning of the grand consciousness on a miniature scale. Mm -hmm. We are miniature lights of a grand effulgence. So in another metaphor, the individual consciousness is regarded as a spark of the divine fire, of the same cosmic effulgence, which is different from saying that it was created by or from. So that, that is that difference. And therefore, the consciousness does play a very fundamental role in the Hindu spiritual disciplines, especially. Does the cosmic consciousness pervade all matter and then have a special relationship with, with, with human consciousness, but in fact is found everywhere? The, uh, in the Hindu vision, again, consciousness is present everywhere but it is a matter of evolution. The degree of consciousness and the gradation to which this has arisen, just as even amongst individuals, there are people with different levels of awareness of the world around us and so on. In the larger scale of the living and the non-living, and amongst the living also, that is a gradation of consciousness. This is a traditional Hindu view, which goes on to say further that like biological evolution, which is by no means ended, there is tremendous potential still for the future, human consciousness is also gradually evolving until there may come a time when all human beings will be much more aware of this cosmic connection than they are today. Would you say then that the... Hindu masters, the gurus, who have attained a higher degree of awareness of the cosmic consciousness, are in a sense forerunners of the future of human evolution. Yes, that is the idea. Not just the Hindu uh, uh, spiritual masters. One would consider in this regard people like uh, uh, Jesus Christ and uh, Abraham or and Moses and so on, people who have been, or the Buddha, for example. So there have been uh, exceptional human beings who have attained that higher level of cosmic consciousness. And uh, so that is what gives the hope or the conviction that this is within reach of all consciousness eventually. In this view, would you say then that the nature of the existence of consciousness is one of the strongest demonstrations for a reality beyond the physical. Yes, from the Hindu perspective, that's exactly what it is, that consciousness is the uh, ultimate 
uh, I won't say proof, but testimony, as it were, for something beyond uh, inert, what seems to be inert matter.